welcome to the 2018 Audi S4 review on the Gentleman's Auto. Welcome everybody, 18 um, Audi S4. Wow, what a phenomenal car. I'm coming out of a 2015 M3, and uh, I'm going to give you guys a, a really in-depth review here. Uh, we're going to go over, we're going to look under the hood, we're going to look the exterior, uh, interior, we're going to talk technology, we'll look at the trunk. Um, I really want to dive into this car because I have to tell you, this is probably uh, one of the best cars I've ever driven, and um, that's coming from a 2015 M3. So let's dive right in. So to start, I wanna I wanna say the Navara blue exterior color is pretty unbelievable. Um, it's hard to tell with uh, this west facing sunset, um, but this Navara blue exterior is a very special color. You can only find it on the S models on Audi and their newest release of the 2018 Q5. Uh, this is a really really stunning. Uh, color here on this car. It's a very deep um, Dark kind of navy blue uh, Really beautiful uh, This car includes the 19 inch sport wheel package the s sport package uh, with red calipers and rear sport differential uh, It includes standard LED lights. It includes the uh, rotor gray full leather uh, Napa diamond stitched interior um, so let's start, I guess, with the front. Uh, I, I really love the front. There's a lot to love about this diamond um, kind of physiqued uh, grill they have going on. Um, it's really beautiful. So when the designers were making this car um, and uh, they decided how can we take the B9 level of the, uh, the next level of the S4 and the S5 family, they wanted to kind of create this diamond shaped grill, which I, I just think is so beautiful. Uh, it's not something you see on all cars and you know this kind of grill isn't exclusive uh, to Audi I know Hyundai does something similar like this some other brands but Audi really just does this this grill and this front look the best you have your um, your open flares right up here your LED lights uh, really beautiful such a stunning car you have your front sensors your s4 badging so we'll come we'll come over here we'll take a look you have your v6 twin turbo badging as well as your 19 inch cavo sport wheels these are gonna come with your uh hand cook ventus s1 evo 2 tires summer xls and it's also going to include um the red sport calipers if you go for that s sport package uh that i mentioned earlier that's a 2500 dollars option um that came equipped on this car uh this wasn't a custom build i had custom built a car it was taking too long and i had ended up working up a great deal on this which was on there a lot already here in uh, south florida really phenomenal car from so many different angles this is a very sophisticated car um, you know, coming from an M3, it's a very, very different animal. And so, while you still have your sport exhaust and you, you have that really nice engine that's torquey and, and fun, it's, it's very sophisticated on the outside. You're not going to get, you know, those really bold, aggressive lines like the M3. You're going to get a very sophisticated, beautiful daily driver. And that's really what this car is, and that's why I love it so so much so if you continue across the side you have your platinum silver mirror caps here uh, that match your your window trim across the whole car uh, beautiful matching silver wheels and then your matching silver trim at the bottom here which is beautiful goes right into the exhaust really nice diffuser um, beautiful badging s4 in the back really from every angle. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at the interior. So let's go ahead and jump into the interior. I'm gonna have my fiance go ahead and show us keyless entry. You just go ahead, you put your hand in, that opens up. Uh, why don't we go have a, have a seat? We'll take a look. The seats are extremely comfortable. Uh, really a lot of room. Steering wheel is beautiful. Everything about this interior is actually really stunning. Very sophisticated, very 
beautiful, elegant look. So we'll start here. You have your, your leather that follows you all the way up in that uh, rotor gray leather, Napa leather diamond stitch package. You have your carbon fiber, uh, Alcantani here. So there's a lot of different materials that are mixing, um, but that's nice. So Alcantara uh, tends to get dirty quickly, but by being here, this isn't something that's gonna be touched very often. So it's a nice material to have. Your memory seat settings, your window and uh, heated mirror settings all through here, your back uh, trunk opener. And if we take a look at the seat here, these are some very, very special seats. So what you have here, and we'll go into that more in a little bit, your massage settings, your different seat settings, and then your additional massage settings for selection. And that's really, really special. You have your stainless steel pedals, which are standard on all S models. And we'll go ahead. So let's go ahead and jump in here in the passenger seat and take a look at what we have going on in the interior. So Danielle, why don't we go ahead and start the car? Start button right down there, foot on the brake. You hear that beautiful exhaust. So we're gonna start by taking a look at everything going on here. Immediately you'll notice, uh, you know, everything kind of power up. You have your beautiful eight inch display right in your center. Um, what I really, really love about everything in this car is that it's so easy to use and functional um, and, and just so much fun to be in. Um, and, that's, and that's really awesome. So let's take a look at this 12.3 uh, inch virtual cockpit. Uh, this virtual cockpit does a lot of different things and this is something that Audi is really, really famous for. So if you go ahead and hit this view button, you can go ahead and change everything that's being shown. So if you hit the arrows uh, that are left and right, you can go switch between music, uh, different notes and settings on your phone, and of course the beautiful Google Earth Maps view, which a lot of people always get wowed by. So, and if you go ahead and hit that view button again, you can switch to your S Sport displays, and then go ahead and toggle through your left side of the menu, which can also bring up your Google Earth displays as well. And, and you can use the scroll wheel right over here to the side to scroll in and out. Um, that's that's just such an incredible feature to have uh, in, a, in a sports car sedan. Um, it, it's really stunning. What I really love about this car is that everything about this coming from a BMW is is premium. So you're getting premium buttons throughout. Everything's touch centered. Everything is metal. Everything feels really good. Um, the technology is incredible in this car. And it's like every time I sit inside, um, I'm wowed every, every, every single time. Um, so l let's go a little bit more through the settings here. I want to walk you through the MMI because uh, it's so easy and simple to use and so much fun. So the MMI system is controlled by this dial right here. So as you circle through, you'll have all your different settings. Now, if we start at the top, you're gonna have your vehicle settings. So drive select is, you're able to change that in two different ways. There's um, actually three ways. You can do it through the MMI here. Um, you can do it through uh, the drive select buttons here, or you can do it through the little star button right here on your steering, steering wheel. So drive select uh, between comfort, auto, dynamic, individual. Um, if you hit auto, or dynamic rather, you'll hear the exhaust open up a little bit more. Um, so the exhaust stays open at this time and um, you don't have to worry about it closing. So it's an interesting little feature which gives you more sound. Um, the exhaust, uh, the torque, and the steering, and the engine are all in that dynamic sport mode which is a, a really cool feature. And then you can also have auto, auto and individual which allows for uh, different kind of settings. Uh, so you have your vehicle settings, um, so your date, time, all that kind of stuff, your seats, uh, central locking, garage opener, that's all built in here. Um, if we hit back, we can look at driver assistance. So you have your speed warning, uh, parking aid, sensors, Audi Presense, so front and rear is standard on all Audi models right now, um, including all S models and SUVs. Uh, so that helps you with... Um, a lot of different things 
uh, in including front collision warning, and uh, if someone were about to hit you in your rear, uh, your windows would pop up, and your um, seats tighten, and your seat belts tighten as well for safety. So your air conditioning, what's really interesting is that you have this beautiful vent that flows across the entire way. This is for air recirculation, and these are your actual air vents. So it's a really interesting, beautiful, elegant feature, um, and, and, I, and I really love the design of that. So we can go and continue here. You have your service and checks, uh, oil level, tire pressure, um, all that good stuff. And then your owner's manual is built in as a PDF file rather than a, uh, a hard copy. So if we go ahead and hit menu, um, you can go through sound. The sound is phenomenal. Um, there is about 16 or more speakers here for the Bang & Olufsen sound system. You have over 720 plus watts. Um, it's got something called 3D sound built in. I mean, guys, it sounds incredible. I can't play it because of YouTube copyright issues, uh, but you'll have to trust me on this one or go to your local dealership, which I'm gonna stress later on to take a test drive in this car. Uh, Sirius Satellite is included standard uh, for three months, I believe, and then you can always extend it additionally. Um, a lot of people say they don't like having Sirius on a, on anymore. Uh, because they have Apple Music or Spotify or what have you on Apple CarPlay, but I tend to like it when I don't feel like listening to my own music. Um, satellite's always nice to have, and there's a ton of features there as well. Um, so we jump into media. Media I never use because it gets automatically disconnected when you're using Apple CarPlay. Uh, telephone also I never use through the MMI because uh, it gets disconnected when you're using Apple CarPlay. Uh, your navigation is really good. Uh, so you can go ahead and type in where you want to go. So if you just type in here, it'll just come up and then you can delete and uh, you can also do voice type, uh, voice commands um, and, and favorites and all of that. Uh, so we can go ahead and hit the map here. And what's really interesting is that you can have the map on here as well as here all at the same time. So you just have a lot of map action from Google Earth going on all at the same time. It's really nifty. You get a little bit of a different view here than you do there, um, but it's still really cool and you can kind of fluctuate through that and, and, and experience different things at the same time. Okay, so let's continue here. We have Audi Connect. Audi Connect's a really interesting feature. Um, it gives you apps um, and widgets throughout your MMI system. Um, only for the eight inch display here. So you have weather, uh, we're here in sunny Florida, 92 degrees, beautiful, no rain. Uh, weather, news, um, fuel prices, parking info, city events, travel, flight, I mean all this kind of stuff. Traffic light info is really cool. Um, I'll jump into that a little bit later when I'm in the uh, virtual cockpit settings. And then you can do software update, Twitter, what have you. Um, there's a couple things I wanna note about this. Something Audi implemented that I thought was really interesting is that when your gas levels are low over here, um, on the MMI, it will automatically ask you if you want the car to navigate to your local and cheapest uh, gas pumping station, which I thought was such an interesting feature. I mean, when it popped up for the first time for me, I was like, oh, that's, that's interesting. I don't necessarily use it um, because I'll always just go to the same gas stations I'm familiar with near me. Um, but it is a, a, a cool thing to, to see pop up. Apple CarPlay is a really cool thing. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock the phone that's connected. Um, you only have to do that one time. Uh, so if you unlock it, you'll automatically get uh, Apple CarPlay. So let's just take a look at that again. So you're here uh, in the MMI, you click Apple CarPlay and your Apple, Car Apple CarPlay settings are all here. So, um, Having this experience between two different operating systems um, is a really cool thing. So you have Siri built in if you hold down the home button, just like on an iPhone. Um, you have Spotify, you have uh, your phone, you have maps, you have all kinds of really cool things. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So I typically use the CarPlay uh, for music and text messages and phone, um, but when it comes to navigation, I'm always gonna lean towards the Google Earth display um, on the virtual cockpit. 
So you also have Spotify and, and iHeartRadio, and there's just, uh, when you download more apps, they'll automatically come to the Apple CarPlay menu. Um, but this is a really cool thing, and then if you just hit the home button right here, uh, you're right back to the MMI. So it kind of um, syncs through both systems. Um, so your main settings are here for language and connection manager, uh, mobile device reminder. So if you turn the car off, it'll remind you your phone's still connected. It's the little things like that that Audi does that I find really, really great. Um, now, throughout the Audi MMI system, virtual cockpit and the 8-inch display here, you'll notice these little tabs uh, listed on the side here. What that does is it allows you to go to different alternate menus by using these two silver buttons. So if I click this button, you'll see an alternate menu come up. Now, it doesn't really do too much for me here in the settings, but if I toggle back to vehicle, I can go ahead and then hit that left button, which will bring up all these other settings. So it's a really interesting thing. Um, it, they use that through the entire MMI system, uh, and it's really easy and intuitive to get to. Um, you also have your four uh, toggle settings right here for radio, media, and uh, nav, and telephone. And then these are your eight preset uh, kind of series satellite settings here. So uh, if you just put your finger on it, you can click a radio station at any time and see what's on it just by tapping it. And then you can click to actually go to that radio station. So let's go ahead and take a look at these settings here. So you have your digital uh, thermostats uh, listed here and here. Um, everything here is touch, which is really, really interesting. Uh, if you click up, that'll open the air purifying system uh, here and for the airflow. Um, and you can customize uh, for each passenger. You have your diffusing uh, for the front and rear, um, your circulation, you can turn everything off, and of course your heated seats are standard on all S models. Uh, something else I want to take a quick look at is your glove box. You do have the valet lock. Um, big glove box, a lot here. You have your SD card, your SIM for uh, LTE, which is standard and uh, free for up to three gigabytes a month. Um, Audi gives you your eject button here uh, for CDs and DVDs. If you put a DVD disc uh, while the car's parked, you can go ahead and watch that on the MMI display. Uh, so if we take a look here, we talked about these settings, your stop start button, your uh, 12 volt down there, and just a little touches. Again, I, I want to look at this. Uh, metal buttons um, here, you know, like dials, really, really stunning. Everything about the car is, is, you know, every detail was thought out really, really well. Your drive select, your auto start stop, uh, traction on and off, your backup camera. So we can go ahead and take a look at that and your 360 sensors. Um, and then your power on and off for the display. So we'll continue. You see the carbon fiber lines, the entire interior here your volume on and off. I really love that the volume is right here by your wrist because as you drive, your wrist tends to stay here. You can quickly move everything and then your volume is right over here rather than having to go up here and turn a volume knob. Uh, you have your electric parking right here. And then what's interesting is that if you were to put this into drive, the P disappears. So it's like a cool little illusion that goes on. Uh, it's really, really cool the way they did that. Um, a little bit storage here two USBs that light up and an aux. So let's go ahead and jump in the back and take a look at the rest. So let's go take a look at the uh, rear. So I wanna point out the beautiful diamond stitch Napa leather. Uh, it's something that Audi pulled directly out of Bentley and it's really, really cool. So we'll go ahead and sit a lot of room. Uh, you have your nice little baskets here, your 12 volt uh, weather digital, uh, really like that. The seats have a beautiful, beautiful design, even from the sides and the back. I mean, it's really, really cool. You have your lights back here and a really, really beautiful view of the driver's seat. So let's go ahead and take a look at the trunk. You have a lot of room back here. Um, your grocery hooks are really nice to have, uh, as well as the book I keep back here. Your battery is located back here. You do have an additional tire storage. Uh, you just have to unlock the nets, which are also a really nice feature. Your S4 weather mats. 
typically do come with the car ask your dealer about those and then your complete folding down seats um, can be done from the inside so a lot of room really nice beautiful looking in every way so let's go ahead and jump I'm gonna go ahead and get into the driver's seat this time okay so I want to go a little bit more in depth on the virtual console so as I was saying earlier there's these two buttons to the left and right here which will also do the same for additional menus so you can click the left you can click the right it'll give you additional menus and different things you can do right now we're in dynamic you can hear those pops and burbles uh, I mean I absolutely love that um, go ahead and, and, and look into the bigger Google Earth display here you hit those menus you can change destination favorites uh, one I wanted to show was the map display that you can change between Audi's display and Google Earth Google Earth is an additional charge um, and you get that for free for six months um, so that's interesting and then we can go ahead and toggle through a couple different settings here so I want to show you uh, your different settings here your memory um, consumption your driver assistance for the Audi presense uh, as well as traffic signs so I talked about this quickly earlier the traffic sign system is only available in certain cities today um, but it actually would tell you when a traffic sign is turning um, from red to yellow to green as well as your speed signs and signals and, and everything going on so it's a it's a really cool feature unfortunately it's not in our area here in, in South Florida um, but it, it's a cool feature nonetheless um, and there's just a ton of cool different settings and things you can change um, you can also do uh, your trip computer if you press the left menu button uh, your different lap timers and then your layout uh, so you can go between the classic and the sport the classic layout is going to be what you find in your a class models and your sport is exclusive to the s class models and rs models uh, so that's really interesting as well and so let's just back out of here and go back to view and go back to maps uh, that's kind of the standard display that i like to have um, if we take a look over here, you have your different light settings, uh, off, auto, um, and everything kind of lights up at night beautifully here. Um, your uh, brightness settings for all your displays are right here, so you can quickly toggle on and off uh, your brightness. So if you click that, it'll pop right out. Uh, so what's interesting here is your paddle shifters. Absolutely love those. They're nice and clicky. They feel good. Um, your set, uh, scroll wheel for this left side of the map and then your volume on the right side as well as click in for mute uh, Siri button for right here if you hold it down one click for the Audi volume uh, a nav search and your dynamic um, drive select settings which can be customized to multiple different things I just happen to keep it on dynamic sport what I also really love is this flat bottom steering wheel um, it's a beautiful wheel. It's it's really comfortable in the hand um, There's a lot to love about the steering wheels that Audi does you have also your um, Speed cruise control so when you're not using it You kind of push it back and it's away from you and then when you do use it You kind of push it towards you and that little cruise control button comes down down there So everything else you see here is kind of lit up here It's really really beautiful such a beautiful interior The mirror is frameless. You have your lights. You have your home link settings. You have your open and close for the sunroof. Standard mirrors. And then we'll just take another look here at the rear with the beautiful diamond stitched leather. So why don't we get a little rev time from outside. So let's go ahead 
go ahead and pop the hood. Drink 379 pound-feet of torque and 354 horsepower. It's a really stunning looking engine. A beautiful V6 and Audi badging. All right guys, I hope you enjoy this review and overview on the 2018 S4. I'm gonna do a couple more personal videos expressing my feelings and how I love this car so much more than the M3, why I love it more than the M3, um, and why I uh, converted from a BMW driver to an Audi driver and what made that happen. And so stay tuned for those. Um, I hope you enjoy this review. Go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment, and we will definitely uh, be talking to you soon on this beautiful 2018 Audi S4.